Hello, I'm Leanne Spar. In this section, we will be discussing mean, median, and mode. The specific topics we will cover are, we will find the mean of a list of numbers, we will find the weighted mean, we will find the median, and we will find the mode. Let's begin by finding the mean. We're going to find the mean of these algebra quiz scores. The mean is the numerical average which is the sum of all the values divided by the number of the values. For the algebra quiz scores, we are going to add up all of these values. The total is 281, and we're going to divide by the number of scores, which is 8. So the mean here is going to be 281 divided by 8, which is 35.1. Now let's find the weighted mean. The weighted mean is found when some of the items in a list appear more than once. You will see that we have a list of numbers, some of which appear numerous times. So in order to find the weighted mean, we multiply 25 times 1, because it appears once, to get 25. We multiply 26 times 2 to get 52. We multiply 29 times 5, to get 145, we multiply 30 times 4 to get 120. We multiply 32 times 3 to get 96. And we multiply 33 times 5 to get 165. Now we add this column and get 603. And we add here the frequencies and we get 20. So the weighted mean will be 603 divided by 20, which is 30.2. So the weighted mean for all of these numbers is 30.2. Now let's find the median. First, we will look at the steps involved in finding the median, and then we will find the median for two sets of numbers. In order to find the median, step one, list the numbers from smallest to largest as an ordered array. Step two, find the median. And the way you do that is, A, if there are an odd number of numbers, then the median is a number in the middle. Find it by dividing the total number of numbers by two, and use the next larger number in the array. B, if there are an even number of numbers, then the median is the mean of the two numbers in the middle. Find it by dividing the total number of numbers by 2. The median is the numerical average of the number in this position and the next larger number. Now let's find the median. We have the cost of new computers to be 1400 850 975 1045 and 1190 First thing we need to do is order the numbers. So we have 850, 975, 1045, 1190, and 1400, all of which are dollar amounts, of course. You can see that we have five numbers. So we take the number of numbers, which is five, we divide it by 2, and we get 2.5. The median is the next larger number, or the third number. So the median is the third number, which is 1,045. And you can readily see that 1,045 it's a number which is exactly in the middle of this list of numbers. So the median cost of new computer is $1,045. Now let's find the median of this group of numbers. The number of books loaned, 125, 100, 114, 150, 135, 172. The first thing we need to do is order the numbers from smallest to largest. So we have 100, 114, 125, 135, 
150, 172. There are six numbers here. So we're going to take 6 and we're going to divide it by 2 to get 3. Since there is an even number of numbers, the median is the mean of the third and fourth number. So the median is going to be 125 plus 135 divided by 2, which is 130. So the median number of books flown is 130. Now let's find the mode. We have the number of pages read, 86, 84, 83, 84, 83, 86, 86. The mode is the number that occurs most frequently. We can readily look at this group of numbers and see that 86 is the most frequently occurring number in this list, so the mode of this group of numbers is 86. In this section, we have found the mean, the median, and the mode, which are three very important measures in business. So you need to practice finding these measures by doing the exercises in your book.